some of the side effects of earwax. First one we already kind of mentioned, that is if you get even a little scoop in there, water can get behind it and then you feel like, wow, why, why can't I get the water out of my ear? So it's a weird feeling, it's awkward until it kind of dissipates. That's obvious, but it also, you run the risk that when moisture gets trapped behind any wall, you can get swimmer's ear. No, you, yeah, you, you can an uh, infection build up back infection there. Infection build up, a little uh, fungal infection. Mm -hmm. It gets itchy. Oh, it itches so bad. Sometimes it hurts if you've got wax that's deep. Again, oh. the deeper you go in the ear canal, the more sensitive it is. Mm -hmm. And people trying to get their own wax out have pushed it in deep. It can really hurt. It can you'll be uncomfortable. See, you'll see individuals discolored all around the ear. The facial nerve is so stimulated that uh, you know you can you can tell it's uncomfortable. So that's number one. It's uncomfortable. It can cause infections. It can get itchy. Hearing loss. You can't hear out of that ear. That's you know, an obvious one. Yeah, yeah. 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 It can cause temporary hearing loss, and that's the one we probably see the most. But when your hearing shuts down pretty quickly, like you're asleep, the wax moves to a certain spot. You wake up and you're like, oh wow, I can't hear out of this ear. Sometimes there's a nervous about that where like whoa I'm broken like what's going on and all of a sudden you'll hear a, a sound a spontaneous sound coming coming from your body it's like in your head you can hear something we call tinnitus mm -hmm. most people look at the word and call it tinnitus but they'll they'll have a sudden onset of extra sound or spontaneous sound that only they can hear this tinnitus yeah sometimes wax can cause tinnitus and yeah. getting the wax out solves it and that's some of the most rewarding wax removal jobs yeah. that we do because someone not only can't hear and maybe it's uncomfortable but they've also got this ringing in their ear and you pull the wax out and it solves all of it it's, it's another fun. interesting one that people don't always think about but if the wax is significant enough like the canals fall and it's now pushing on the eardrum You'll not only have discomfort and, and probably some pain, but that can lead to clumsiness. It can lead to a feeling of disorientation, like I'm just off. And so sometimes dizziness and disorientation and I'm just a little off, I'm not who I normally am, can be a lot, you know, could be just significant wax in the canal. And as wax builds up in the canal, it shifts and moves. Sometimes people will say they hear crackling. Mm -hmm. It'll kind of crackle and pop and that's just the wax kind of shifting and yeah. moving as they talk and chew and things. I had a, a friend that came in, she's about my age, and she had these unusual sounds because it was moving. It was like, kept touching the eardrum. She's like, there's, there's a bug in there, there's something, you know, is it an earwig? Or, and she was so nervous, and it turned out it was wax. We took the wax out, and she felt a lot better, but it, it can move. Yeah, it, yeah. Can, it can be, because the ear canal, you know, it's not always just flat. It can have ups and downs, ridges and valleys. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of exciting in the ear canal. 